Lincoln, Nebraska, you guys ready for some more MMA? On out to our 12th match of the evening, now making his way to the Twin J Blue Corner, Corey Roberts. His opponent now making his way to the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, Nate Morrow. Gentlemen, now time for our professional portion of tonight's event. This bout scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the DC Professional Featherweight Division. Brought to you tonight by Crunch Fitness. Introducing first from the other Twin J Blue Corner. This brawler stands five foot six, weighing in 145.8 pounds. He holds 10 bouts as a professional with three wins coming by way of submission. Training independently, fighting out of Homa, Nebraska. He is the former DC Bantamweight Champion, Corey the Pitbull Roberts. His opponent across the cage, fighting on the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. Is a wrestler standing five foot nine, weighing in 144.4 pounds. He holds a professional record, three wins, three defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout and two by way of submission. Also training independently, fighting out of Lincoln, Nebraska, by way of Hastings, Nebraska. He is the former DC Amateur Featherweight Champion, Nate Badman Morrow. You referee Joe Doherty. All right, we got Nate Morrow in the red corner versus Corey Roberts in the blue corner. Two professional fighters now. Now we're in the, the professional bouts, uh, three five-minute rounds. Um, Corey has got 10 fights on his resume, um, kind of having some choppy success lately. Uh, Nate uh, trying to get his pro career started with a you know five and you know or a 500 record. Uh, Corey's kind of the journeyman to beat tonight. This is an experienced guy with a lot of cage experience. Fought some of the toughest guys in Nebraska. Yeah. Nate's had a he had a a pretty uh, stacked amateur career. Fought a lot of really good amateurs in his in his time. Yeah, and he's a boxer as well. Ooh. Nate's a very talented guy. I feel like, you know, the losses on his record are just kind of stepping up to fight guys that, you know, maybe he just didn't have the experience to take on, but definitely has the capability and the talent to beat later on. Yeah. No, Nate's a, Nate's a super talented fighter. He just, uh, he never turns down a challenge. Absolutely. Good, uh, good calf kick by Roberts right there. Oh. 
Corey being the aggressor here in round number one. Looking for some big shots. Corey caught him with the right hand right there. He looks calm though too. I mean, he, he he's kind of ate a couple punches here and there, but it doesn't seem to phase him too bad. He's patient. He's kind of trying to find his range there and. He's so not know like check hooks. But, yeah, I really, I'd really like to see him use that left hook again too when Corey's pushing the pace as a counter. Corey though hits hard and is yeah. uh, always a tough opponent. There's a good jab he threw out there. Good knee by Morrow. I think Nate's kind of starting to find his range here. Get his timing down. Corey's doing a good, he's been cutting off Nate. Oh, oh. Nate. Uh, that was an uppercut there and Nate did it. Very sportsman thing to not follow up with it. And well, I feel like Corey's showing that that was a groin shot. Like, you know, the only thing that's hurt is his groin. It is. But I, I don't know what. I think that uppercut just landed straight on his nose and shattered it. Nate, Nate must have had confidence in the strike he landed and knew, knew that it was a, a, a game ending shot. and and kind of just really look to the ref to, to end it there. Here's a replay. Is it that elbow? With the followed by an uppercut? I think it was the uppercut. It is kind of, it's something you don't see every day. You know, he, he, he was hammer fisting him, but it was clearly just, just touching him to show the ref. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee's guy's not defending himself. Stop this fight, two minutes, 59 seconds for the very first round, declaring your winner, uh, TKO Nate Batman Morrow. Nate, congratulations, man. You're no, you're no stranger to the victory lane, as we call it. Uh, congratulations on improving your professional record now, four and three. Give us your thoughts on it. It's been too long, damn long since I've been here, Mike. I want to be here more often, bro. I've lost too many fights in this arena. I'm done playing at SH. Ready to go, dude. Let's go. Thank you all for coming out. Anybody specifically you like? My family, my friends, my girlfriend Darcy, all you fans, Good Life Construction, Scott Anton. I love you all, man. Thank you all for coming out. None of this is possible without every last one of you. Thank you all. Nate Batman Mall, ladies and gentlemen.